let's go. Summer of 2023. In comparison to the past few years was the least eventful. I decided to stay mainly in BC as I was financially making up for all the traveling I did last year. With that in mind, I made the best of my situation and I started the summer off camping with my childhood friends at this camp spot in Squamish that we've been going to for the past three years. It's kind of become a yearly tradition camping in this spot to start the summer and I hope we continue this tradition in the years to come. Yeah, I'm just probably gonna park here. Yeah. Unless I move, I just move here more. This is your first camp. Same yeah. direction. Every time. Every time. This camp spot has changed a lot since I've been here last. The raging river you see wasn't here before. It used to be more of a shallow creek that you can walk across to get to a sandy cove. Here's how it used to look like from the last time I was here. I guess it got washed away since it does flood a lot in this area. Once everyone got all set up, it's time to cook and unwind. That's beyond chicken. <laughs> Mike won't even be able to eat this. It's beyond though. <laughs> it's beyond his reach. <laughs> are you are you guys digging for gold? Yeah? We're looking for treasure. Like yeah? Connor? Connor, what are you looking for? Huh? I can't hear you. L look at the camera and tell me. I am digging for treasure. What kind of treasure? Like poopy treasure? No! <laughs> I, I I'm making a toilet. Oh, you're making a toilet? Are you going to poopy I'm, soon? I'm looking for treasures with money. And gold. My money? And gold. Why, why, why do you need money for? And gold. Why do you need that for? So you I want to buy any toys, any candy. Oh, just toys. Want. I thought you were going to help pay for the mortgage. Well, that's why I get the money. <laughs> you want a beer? You want a beer? You want a beer? <laughs> right? No, I'm not. I don't post anything. Okay. Yo, is that poutine, bro? No, it's not poutine. You sure? It's not poutine? No, it's not time. There's lots more time. Hold on. Yo, is this beyond chicharron? <laughs> beyond. Yeah. Beyond vermicelli. Wow. What Get the meat's gonna be all over this one. Yeah, Yo, you're not. You know, you're not getting paid for this, right? <laughs> as night fell, we huddled around the propane fire pit as there's currently a fire ban in BC. This part of the camping trip is always my favorite as we end up just playing music from our youth and reminisce about our younger years. Most of the people here have been a part of my life for more than two decades, so stories about the past is abundant. Since we're in our late 30s, one by one, everyone slowly called it a night. Last year, I traveled near and far, attending all sorts of expos and overland rallies, but this year, I decided to only attend one, which was the Northwest Overland Rally located in Plain, Washington. All right, so just got to the Northwest Overland Rally. Fortunately, we didn't get here by 8 p.m. Too much traffic happening over at Highway 2. Uh, so we're just gonna camp out here uh, for the late entry. And then we can still enter the, uh, the venue, but uh, we won't be able to camp and get into our camp until tomorrow. But anyways, uh, Steve's just setting, setting up his uh, rooftop tent there. And then we're gonna go in and say hi to our friends. Good morning everybody, it's the next day and we're inside the grounds now. Just got our bracelets and uh, we're ready to go. Didn't end up filming afterwards uh, last night. Just hung out a little bit with my friends that's already camped here. And then afterwards, just, just was too tired to do anything. Passed out and then woke up bright and early around like five o'clock, the sun was already out. So beautiful day here uh, for my first day, which is day two of, day three actually of the Northwest Overland Rally. And uh, let's go check it out. Hey, 
<laughs> You're so big, man. No, because they didn't have the, the, plus, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. the hyper plus or the. Uh, they, no, they didn't Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> When are you gonna do that? I want no. I want. I just want fenders. That's all I want. Two, two inch by two inch. Two fenders. Hot. After checking out the vendor area, we all walk back to where my friends are camped out to get away from the afternoon heat. This is how you shower as an overlander. Oh yeah. I think it's, I think he's running out of pressure. Oh, he's stacking rocks. And he's cheating. <laughs> Once the weather got cooler, my friend Mitchell decided to try out this obstacle course that the event was offering with Kaylee and Ollie riding shotgun. Right in front of Mitchell was this Unimog, which honestly stole the show. <laughs> <laughs> Send it. Nicely done. Oh, yeah, no.
crushing the obstacle course, it was time for the raffle draw. Unfortunately, I didn't win. Whoa, big winner. Big winner. As I said earlier, I'm making up for all the traveling and spending I did last year. So for this summer, my main focus was to spend a bit more time with my family and of course the two doggos, who hasn't been on the channel much, but I'm hoping that will change next year as I plan on taking them with me to more of my adventures. As the summer was getting warmer, I took my family to the Twilight Drive-In Theater in Langley. I made sure to go here once this year as they plan on closing this landmark permanently next year, which kind of sucks as I think this place has historical value and I think it brings the community together. Probably the closest we'll ever get to those days when the whole family would go to Blockbuster or our local video store to pick the movies for the week. Oh, the good old days. Speaking of the good old days, I used to do a bit of hiking in my youth. So on a beautiful sunny Sunday morning, my sister and I drove to Deep Cove in North Vancouver to hike up to Quarry Rock. And I must say, I was definitely out of shape and I was huffing and puffing all the way up the trail. But as much as I was getting exhausted during the ascent, it was all worth it once we got to the top. I mean, look at this view. After this hike, I was planning to do a bit more hiking, but scheduling just didn't work out. So for next year, I'm making hiking a bit more of a priority. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, my friends and I have camped at some of the most beautiful dispersed places in BC. Well, this camping trip with my parents was not one of them, as we stayed at a paid campground near Harrison Hot Springs. The only way my mom was going to go camping with my dad and I was if there was a natural working washroom on site and not a porta potty. So, glamping it is. The next day, we head to Harrison Lake for the afternoon. I've driven past the town of Harrison Hot Springs right before heading to the backcountry. I think the last time we were here was during winter of 2021 to celebrate Christmas. Once we got back from the lake, my mom and I walked the dogs around the campground. I had such a great time spending the weekend with my parents. Since we all are very busy with work and our own activities, it's nice to just connect with them. Times like this is something I will always cherish the rest of my life. Before getting obsessed with being in the outdoors, off-roading and overlanding, I was a martial arts junkie, especially Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which I have been training on and off for the past 12 years. I used to teach and even competed consistently back in the days. So when one of my friends mentioned that he was competing at a local tournament for the first time, I just had to attend before my friends and I head to Squamish to do some exploring. Once I got to the event, the feeling I used to get competing came rushing back through. The energy, the atmosphere, man I miss this. It definitely got me thinking of maybe competing again next right year, away, but right away, first things away. first, I need to train more and get into better shape. My buddy Griff did great in this tournament. He won his first match but lost his second one, mainly due to an unintentional knee to the head by his opponent. We had him checked up and I basically called it for him and told him not to compete anymore as he might have a minor concussion. Once I knew Griff was in good hands, my buddies Jack and David met me up in the parking lot. Oh, hello. And on the way we go to explore parts of Squamish.
As I mentioned earlier in this video, this area gets flooded a lot and was very evident as we carried on down the main FSR. The parts of the road completely eroded, which made it a bit more fun to drive actually. After this last water crossing, we decided to turn back around as it was getting a bit late and we didn't really plan on camping for the night. There are so much side trails to explore around here and I'm hoping I'll have a bit more time to check them out next year. Speaking of exploring, this summer I finally was able to go off-roading at BC's most iconic trail, the Whipsaw Trail. I've been wanting to go for the past three years but things would come up that would put a hold on my plans. I'm coming back here again next summer and definitely more than just once. If you guys would like to watch the full video of this trip, I've included the video links on the right corner of the screen and on the description below. For the past three years, my longtime childhood friends and I would go on a week-long road trip visiting parts of BC and last year, Alberta. But this year, since I just started my new job, I couldn't take a week off. So we made it work by camping on the last long weekend of the summer. We're headed to Bluey Lake and on this convoy right now, I have my buddy Jack and his family in the F-150 and then Mike and his family in the 4 -run. We have a few other of our friends coming down tomorrow, which is Saturday. This is actually the first time I'm headed to Bluey Lake and hopefully we do get a spot crossing my fingers. Uh, but if we can't, I think there's a few more um, campsites or rec sites over around that area that we can camp around. Anyways, we're gonna keep on driving down to Bluey Lake and I'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit. Unfortunately, uh, all the camping spots over at Blue Wheat Lake is all taken. Now we're just basically gonna see uh, another spot around this area. There's also another lake around here that looks like there might be a camp spot. So we'll see. Uh, we're gonna keep on driving uh, down, trying to look for a camp spot for tonight. After driving for a couple of hours looking for a camp spot, we decided to head back towards Bluey Lake at this opening I saw earlier right by the FSR. All right, uh, unfortunately couldn't find a spot close to Bluey Lake as you guys saw, but we are still around the area of Bluey Lake. So what our plan is probably just take my truck down there and then uh, I'll drop off people and just so that we can actually swim in Bluey Lake. Clear opening here. Good to just camp for the big group that we're gonna be having tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna set up and then uh, get to camping. All set up in the back of the truck on the back seat. That's where I'm gonna be sleeping. <clears throat> Everybody else is all setting up. Kids are running around getting that energy out. I think it's uh, about dinner time soon. Here's Mike with his uh, tent. The Shangri-La of tent. So, little change of scenery. We actually found a spot closer to the water. Got really lucky. So I'll just show you guys our new campsite. All right, here is our new campsite. A little bit smaller than the other one, but we are closer to the water, as I said. Jack's getting set up here. 
Mike's getting us all set up here. We still expect four more people here later. So we're gonna figure out how we, we're gonna have everybody capped out here. But yeah, I'll show you guys where the water is. Oh, All right, and this is the water, Bluey Lake, right here. Ah oh, man, nice spot, nice spot, definitely a nice spot. Like I said, we're still waiting for a few more people, I'd say three more vehicles, but two are tents and two are uh, rooftop tents as well. So we gotta kind of Jenga our way and figure out how we're gonna have everybody in here. So, but anyways, we're at least closer to the water, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, and we get to spend the whole day at Bluey Lake. <laughs> 50 cents. You're, you're 25 cents. <laughs> I'm 10 cents, man. <laughs> I know, I know, it's, 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 I know, it's less than a quarter. Emma, you ready to go swimming? Yeah. Mace, you ready to go swim, Spider-Man? Yeah. How about you, Con? Mike, do you want a burger? Sure. Sure. Is it beyond? Beyond cholesterol, bro. <laughs> All right, so the kids are going to go ahead and uh, go swimming before we do. Uh, lake's just down there. And then, um, yeah, we're going to follow after the rest of the crew gets here and gets situated. We got a live mic here. <laughs> Making a kayak. All right, Mike, what are we doing here, Mike? Blowing up a kayak, Mike. Where are they? How long does it take, Mike? You can fit five dingoes in there. <laughs> Burger. Thanks, Jack. This is the life. This is Mike Bomba in his natural habitat. <laughs> so right now he's wearing a life jacket. He's afraid he's gonna drown on land. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever swam in the waters of Mount Minnetonka? Not drinking water. Yo, Connor, did you pee your pants? He, he didn't. He didn't? He went in the water. Yeah? Are you sure? I think he peed his pants. No. No. All right, Connor. Can I get a Your turn, Mace. Come on. But make it longer. Can I get a That's your kid. Can I get a hug? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, Chris, Chris. Hi, buddy. Yo, D, go horizontal this way. <laughs> Ever see a real man? Oh, gee. Friends are doing karaoke right now. We're in the woods camping, but <laughs> they're getting crazy. Just taking my time right now and just hanging out and checking out the water right in front of me. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you kind of just want to get out of the crowd and hang out for for a bit by yourself. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be joining them in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. So far, so good. We still got another day tomorrow, like half day, um, and we're just gonna enjoy our time together. Uh, didn't really film too much today. Uh, it's more just messing around. Um, but definitely, I'm gonna film a little bit more tomorrow. Um, yeah, just gonna enjoy my time here right now. Hey guys, it's the next day and we're slowly packing up. We just actually had breakfast. Um, yeah, I didn't film much uh, throughout the night. Kind of just hung out with my friends and you know, uh, they were doing karaoke and I was just really just enjoying the moment with them. And um, yeah, don't know what else we're gonna be doing. It's kind of cloudy out right now and uh, I was hoping it'd be nice so I can fly the drone, but it's a bit windy. Should have done it yesterday, but it is what it is. But yeah. All in all, a uh, fun trip. Definitely a uh, great way to end the summer. This summer, I barely had a chance to go camping with my BC Overlanders crew. So on the last weekend before the end of the summer, we went on a boys trip. At a camping spot, I went with my buddy Travis. Hi, 
get on camera. <laughs> hey, Joe, you ready to go, Captain? I'm ready. Ready as I'm ready as I'm gonna be. Iron hide. <laughs> Iron hide. Yeah, right here. All right, just got to our camp spot. You guys probably already saw this before, but uh, yeah. You guys can back up here. There's some space here. I'll, I'll, I'll go here. You're gonna go ahead Head first? first yeah. Okay. How are you gonna go, Jack? Uh, I'll probably go over here. I'll just block them and then I'll have this Are they this coming spot. here too, in this spot? Who, you our buddies? Yeah, yeah. Yo, put your lockers on. <laughs> Yo, put your rear lockers on and some a track. Yo, tell him to turn off his uh, four wheel drive. Is this four wheel drive on? Yo, turn off your four wheel drive. Just go two wheel. Yeah, keep going. Straight. Straight, straight. Yo, G, where are you gonna, where are you gonna park? I'm gonna block the thing. Keep going. You don't need your awning, bro. It's not gonna rain. We also have the shed. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling him, like, there's a sharks, man. <laughs> going home. Once we all got set up, we fired up the propane fire pit. Yeah. My buddy Angelo cooked us up some burgers. What kind of patties? Like, just burgers? Straight burgers? Yeah, homemade, baby. And one by one, the rest of the crew started arriving. Yo, we got so lucky. <laughs> We all had a late dinner, had a few drinks, and at midnight, I called it a night. I woke up the next day to a beautiful sunny morning where my buddy Angelo was at it again, cooking us up some delicious breakfast. After eating, we all kind of just did our own thing. For Jack, Mike, and I, we kind of just laid around and took in the view. But by the afternoon, we all decided to take a quick drive to a sandy area nearby. I should have brought my truck to the camper and showed them up. <laughs> no, no, no. Once everybody got their fix, we headed back to camp where Jack, Mike, and I quickly packed up and started heading for home. The rest of the boys were staying for one more night. The four of us couldn't stay as we had prior obligations the next day. To end the summer, my family and I went on a road trip to Kelowna to celebrate my sister's birthday. Of course, since we're in wine country, the first place we're headed was a winery. For lunch, we decided to head to Kelowna's downtown, and unbeknownst to us, they were having a show and shine. Hey everyone, hope you all enjoyed the video. I thought I'd try something different where I combined a whole bunch of random trips and adventures together instead of uh, multiple short videos. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you guys would like more of this type of video in the future. I kind of enjoyed making these type of videos, especially during the summer, uh, since I do a lot of adventuring during the summer um, that are, aren't are too big of a trip. And yeah, just combining them all together into one big trip 
or video is uh, makes makes more sense to me. But let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, guys, like always, stay awesome. Mm -hmm.